Most people think of nanotechnology as relating to very small machines, but really globally the main areas of nanotechnology research are just extensions of things that uh, you may be already familiar with. For instance, the semiconductor industry is very, very interested in nanotechnology because transistors are getting smaller and smaller and we're getting to the point where we need new ways to fabricate ultra-small devices. Another area that's very important is healthcare. Uh, this is especially important here at UCL, which is one of the world's largest medical research universities. UCL runs an MSc in nanotechnology. The MSc has been running since about 2006. It's a one-year course. The general layout of the MSc is in the first term, students take compulsory modules. Um, these cover things like a sort of quick introduction to the physics of nanostructures, medical physics, techniques that can be used to look at nanostructures such as tunneling microscopy, a course about nanotechnology in society and a course about how nanoscale devices are fabricated. In the second term, students generally can choose from a range of optional courses to suit their own interests. These change slightly every year, but at the moment we have courses in nanoelectronic devices, a course on plastic and molecular electronics, quantum computing and information. We also have a, a business module, which is very important to people who are maybe interested in using their skills to develop nanotechnology spin-out companies. Experimental work is very important in the MSc in nanotechnology. In the first part of the MSc, students are trained using a wide variety of techniques in our dedicated teaching laboratory in the Electrical Engineering Department. During their project, students work in a real research environment using state-of-the-art equipment such as the many clean room and thin film processing facilities we have here in the London Centre for Nanotechnology. The MSc Nanotechnology isn't all taught courses. A very large component of it is the student project. Uh, generally, students work um, part-time on their project in the first part of the year and then they work for the entire summer from approximately June to August on the project. We offer a large range of different types of projects and students are free to choose any project they want or even discuss with potential supervisors uh, tailoring their own project. The typical student who enrols on the MSc uh, has uh, uh, typically a, a first or a 2-1 degree. We've taken students from many different backgrounds over the past six or seven years. Uh, we've taken electrical engineers, physicists and even biologists and all the courses on the MSc are tailored to suit these different intakes. So for instance we explain the basics of physics to people who haven't studied uh, physics before and we explain the basis of biology to people who don't have any biological background. So the course is catered to people who come from a different variety of backgrounds. The MSc in nanotechnology provides a very very strong foundation for future careers in science and research and technology. The majority of our students stay within research doing a PhD either here at UCL or at other world leading universities. A small number go on to work in industry and a smaller fraction probably take up completely unrelated jobs where they can still use their skills in say the business or the finance world. Mm -hmm.